What's up guys, Shane here from Fugag 3D Printing and today I'm checking out the July Profi Box. Welcome back guys. So I have again the Filament One Profi Box. This is a subscription box from Filament One. It contains two kilograms of their premium filament that you can get at home. It's a surprise every month on what it is and their filament is actually pretty fantastic. There's a lot of people that have been printing with it extensively on Twitter and they show lots of great prints about it, which is why I contacted them when they first set this up as if I could try it out. They sent me the June one and they decided to send me the July one, which I'm very happy about. Now again, this comes with two kilograms of filament. That might not be for everyone. So what they actually have coming up is a sample box of their stuff. It isn't out yet. As far as I know, it's not out yet but they are sending that to me for, I believe, the September shipment. I'll be able to feature that for you guys and show you what it is if, again, two kilograms is too much, which a lot of people, it is too much. I print a lot, though. I do a lot of projects. I've got a lot of things behind me here that I've done, so I can use the filament, and I'm very thankful that they sent this to me to try out because, again, it is a premium filament that really prints well, and you guys will be very, very surprised and delighted to see how the, how the prints came out. This month, I think, is better than last month. Anyways, let's go through what's in the box. I've already opened some things up because I've already done the prints, but let's still go through what you would normally get in the box, and then we'll check out the prints. So right off the bat, they do give you a Profi Welcome to Our Family little flyer here. It tells you who they are. It's a USA company, some companies that they have partnered with as well. So you get two rolls of their premium PLA filament. You're going to get an upgrade or an accessory in the box, and you're going to get a special discount code on something, whatever that might be. Up top here is filament. So... And then I've already printed with this to get the sample prints. This is their Filament One PLA Pro Select White Aluminum. And it is a super duper shiny silver. A very aluminum-y silver. I guess that's why they call it the white aluminum. But very, very shiny. I really did like this one quite a bit. And then the next spool we have here. This is their PLA Pro Select Glint Red. Which is a kind of, it's a reddish copper with sparklies in it so like a glitter in there that's hence the glint wife did not like this one uh, i'm not gonna say why <laughs> but she did not like the color of this one i thought it was okay i don't think it was one that i would actively seek out unless i needed a special again kind of like a rusty red color that was shiny and glittery for a certain thing it still printed extremely well but it is definitely not a color that i found to be the best in my opinion some people might really like this one this one, I didn't really like the color on it as much. Also, we're going to get in here is they're going to tell us. Okay, so this is actually the, the that tells you what you get. So we have, obviously, the aluminum white, the glint red. Our accessory this month is a pair of flush cutters, which is fantastic. You can never have too many flush cutters. Uh, not all printers come with them, which actually very nicely, the under three comes with them. By Both my under threes came with them. So that's a great way to get a, an accessory at zero cost because it comes with a printer. And this month's discount code is a 40% off of their ASA filament. They give you the code. And there is a group project, which I did not actually look up. And the snack is a Stroopa waffle, a very little one, which is fantastic. I love it. It's good till February of 2020. Give me time to enjoy that. And they give you a, oh, so we have Filament Frenzies sticker. So Filament Frenzy is actually the one that prints the most with this filament and he gets fantastic results, which is very nice to see someone getting such great results with this filament. Uh, he posts well, all the time. So he's kind of their biggest uh, proponent of them and they're new to me. I haven't really seen them very much until he started posting more about it. Enough blabbing. Let's look at the prints now and see how they came out. So I did the same three prints as last time and the first one here is my maker coin at 200% scale and this came out glorious it's so shiny i mean so shiny it really has that nice kind of aluminum glare to it very consistent across because this is so shiny almost like a silk filament you are going to see your layer right here on the overhangs you're going to see those different layers in there a lot of it will start to blend in on the side more but on big overhangs, you're gonna see it more. I could have probably printed this a little bit hotter. This was printed at 210 degrees centigrade. And it, again, it printed just fine, but you are gonna see with this super shiny filament that. But if looking over the overhangs here, they came out absolutely fantastic. There's no issues in there at all. This was a really good print. 
Then I printed their mascot, the Filament Runner. And he turned out way better than did last month. As you can see under here, very little issues. The one, two, and three spaces that really do have issues. Very, very minor in there. Very minor compared to last month. So I was really excited to see how much better this printed. This printed at 0.2 millimeter layer heights just as it was last time. But yeah, it looks great. And finally, I have a vase here, the exact same gear vase that I printed last time as well. I wanna see how it turns out in vase mode. And you can see some of the layers sometimes, but most of it is completely just gone in there. A little stringy, so as you can see, a little too hot. So this one probably could have did 207, 208 would have probably been better on this. But I just wanted to get a test out and see how it turned out. But yeah, it turned out fantastic. Okay, and now the glint red. As you can see, it has that reddish kind of rust color to it, reddish brown, and has a glitter and it'll really make it sparkle. This might do for some people, this might not for others, but it is, again, very shiny, very consistent throughout the print. This did way better over the supports than the, the uh, white aluminum did, way better. It looks, I mean, this actually would trump some of the protopasta samples that I've printed previously. This did absolutely fantastic job of staying in. This was 210C as well, and the fill runner which this one did come out a smidge string in there. You see just a couple little strings here and there, but underneath looking at the overhangs, again, way better than the white aluminum did and miles better than what came out last month. So this was truly, truly much better. And the vase was perfect. Because of its color and because of the, the uh, sparkles in there, you really do lose the layer lines in this almost all together. From the inside out, you can see it a little bit, you can kind of see the layer lines in there just a smidge, but from the outside in, can't really see it at all. I don't know why it's that way, but maybe it's just because of the way the, you know, the spiral goes, it kind of makes that happen. But yeah, looks fantastic and did a fan great job of it. So I did forget to mention that these were all printed on my Prusa i3 Mark III S clone printer. So you can get amazing results out of a printer that you completely can buy and put together on your own. It just worked out well. I mean, I sourced all those parts myself and used the STLs from Prusa. I used the Prusa guide to make it, but I didn't actually use Prusa stuff for it. Everything came from someplace else and it prints magnificently well. So yeah, I really did enjoy this. These ones turn out great. I'm definitely gonna use this uh, aluminum, this white aluminum on a future project because it, it'll think be great for a gun. It just has that nice shine to it. I think it'd be really good. So if you guys wanna check this out, I'll put a link down below. It's not a filament link. And again, this box was provided to me for free from Film On for the purpose of this video review. I think it did great. And I also will put a link down there for the smaller uh, sample box that you can get once they release that. Again, it hasn't been released out yet, at least to my knowledge. If it has been, either way, I'll put a link for that down below as well if you wanna check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna to talk to me about it, make sure you leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about these different colors? Have you tried it before? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you guys want to stay in tune with what's going on, hit that big old subscribe button and hit that bell icon. That way you get a notification when I upload new content or do a live stream. If you guys want to help out me buy things for the channel, you can become a patron. It only takes a dollar to get access to my Patreon feed in the after show. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Again, it really does help me buy more things for the channel. Otherwise, you can help out with some one-time donation links or there's a fill links down below with some coupon codes. Save yourself some money. A little slice once you buy with those links comes back here to help out the channel. Appreciate you guys watching. Till next time, happy printing.